Good morning, you guys. This is my first meal of the day. I am doing a full day of eating while tracking my macros. So you saw I have mushrooms, I have sweet potatoes, I have cherry tomatoes, um, egg whites, and one whole egg. And I tracked this in my fitness pal as I was going. I am not trying to hit a specific goal today, so I was tracking this as I was going, and this is what I came up with, and it actually is a really balanced meal. 283 calories. If you turn your phone like this, you can see the whole breakdown. So this is a very good, balanced post-workout meal. I'm pretty, pretty impressed with myself. All of my years of tracking have paid off. So I have 31 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, 26 grams of protein, and six grams of fiber for 283 calories. I was not making this meal to try to hit those numbers. This is just what I got with, I put it on in my plate, kind of visualize what I usually go for and these were the measurements that I just happened to do. So 2.8 ounces of mushrooms, 123 grams of sweet potato. I did about a cup of egg whites, which equaled about 125 grams. And then I added in an egg for some more protein, healthy fat. And then I just love cherry tomatoes with egg whites. I love it so much, I don't know what it is. And then I forgot that I was doing this full day of eating, tracking my macros. So I actually did get a Starbucks latte, which is not normal for me. So it's kind of ironic that I did this, but I have two pumps of skinny mocha, which which I think is about two carbs for each pump. And then I have steamed almond milk. So I have no idea how much almond milk they used. I know almond milk is not very calorie dense or high calorie. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna track that. I don't really, maybe like a half, like a quarter of a cup or a third of a cup of almond milk just to be safe. And then I also did have a Lenny and Larry's cookie this morning for pre-workout. I just had, I ate half the other day and I ate half this morning for my pre-workout. So I'm gonna say hello to you so you can see my face instead of me just talking with food as the background. I wasn't gonna show my face because I am drenched from my workout, but whatever, you guys love me anyway. Um, so I ate about, I would say, it didn't seem like a whole half, but I'm gonna track it as a half anyway, just in case, because I don't really know. I'm sorry, I forgot I didn't weigh it, and I should have weighed it, and I forgot I was doing this today. It was a mini, it was one of the mini cookies. It was the chocolate chip one, which isn't, isn't worth it in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna take a digestive enzyme right now. I take a digestive enzyme before all my biggest meals. I woke up this morning and I took my pre and my probiotic as always, I never miss a day of that. And then I'm also gonna take this turmeric. I started to take turmeric, I just started yesterday actually, just to help with inflammation. So I am gonna take two of these right now. I just worked out so I could use the um, anti-inflammatory benefits of turmeric. And I'm gonna try to adding turmeric because um, I hear that it's really good for your skin. And just like overall, I need that anti-inflammatory just with how I work out and everything. And then my digestive enzyme, I just get this from Vitamin Shop, Digest Gold. Really simple, easy. And then I am also, before I start eating, gonna take a cap full of my L-carnitine One Up Nutrition. You have seen this in many of my videos, so I'm gonna get eating. I am excited slash nervous about how this full day of eating is gonna go. It's gonna be an eye opener to see how many calories I eat in a day. Um, if I eat too little, if I eat too much. Um, let's see, so. I gotta get used to remembering to take out the scale that it, before I just like pop something in my mouth. That's gonna be the hardest thing for me. So I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys for my next meal a little bit later. All right, so next meal of the day is my Biome Greens. This has calories in it, so I'm showing you. And it is kind of late. Um, I don't remember when I ate breakfast. I think it was around 9.30, and it is one o'clock right now. But I, oh, and this is my One Up Nutrition Collagen Peptides. I love this for my hair and healthy skin. Um, and it honestly, I see so much benefit with my skin and my hair recently. My nails are really strong, um, but I actually have a appointment for microneedling. 
and I have to leave right now. So I know that I'm gonna be having avocado toast when I get home. I add a little stevia just to make it a little sweet because the collagen peptide is flavorless and the biomes taste great, but since the collagen peptide, there's so much powder in there, I it kind of like mutes the flavor of the delicious biome, so I add a little bit of stevia, and then I blend it to make sure it's all nice and blended because there is a lot of powder in here. All right, so I know that I'm having avocado toast when I get home, and I'm gonna have it with a side of chicken because we grilled chicken this weekend and it tastes so good, it's amazing and I really want it. But I also love avocado toast. So I didn't want a whole meal before my appointment, I just wanted to get my greens in, of course, for digestion and my greens and everything like that for health. And then collagen peptides has 18 grams of grass-fed protein. So I'm gonna run to my appointment. Next time you see me, my face will be all red and kind of crazy, but I'm gonna make my avocado toast, which I will show you. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna go over my next meal. It is 3.52, so four o'clock. The last time I ate a real meal was breakfast and I just had my greens and my collagen peptides. So I just got back from my appointment and I'm hungry. So I have one piece of toast. I have avocado that I just mashed with lemon juice, salt, and pepper. I have a little bit of chunky salsa on top and then some feta cheese, some whole, some real milk, you know, all the uh, normal feta cheese. Um, I use this from Trader Joe's. It is a sheep's milk feta, and that's what I want. Cow's milk is what it, uh, tends to bloat people. I'm gonna grab this to show you. This is my gluten-free bread I got from Fresh Market. 16 grams of carbs per slice, two grams of fiber, and then I couldn't fit the rest of my avocado, so I just put it on the side with some more salsa, and I will be eating it with my chicken, four and three quarters um, of chicken, and this to me, in my fitness pal, it says that this is 41 grams of protein. I don't believe it. I put so much more on my plate and then I actually took some away because of what my fitness pal said. So that's why I fucking don't like tracking macros. It like stops me from eating more protein and I have four slices and that's supposed to be 41 grams of protein. So I don't believe it, but I'm tracking it. Uh, and then I have this sugar-free barbecue sauce, two grams of carbs. I didn't get to track that yet. So after I eat this, I will show you what my fitness pal looks like. Okay, so this is what I tracked for what I just ate. <clears throat> my fitness pal says it was 427 calories. I tracked my bread, 68 grams of avocado. I just did pico de gallo from Chipotle, one whole serving, um, just because I wanted to make sure it was enough macros. Sheep's milk feta, um, I did point, oh my God, like nothing. It was only, I think, seven grams worth of the feta, so I accounted for 2.4 grams of fat. One whole serving is three, or six grams of fat, and I only used seven grams. Um, my chicken, which I think is so wrong, four slices of chicken cannot be 41 grams of protein. That is just insane to me, but I logged it, whatever. And the two tablespoons of sugar-free barbecue sauce, it is two carbs, making that 427 calories. And I actually have not yet logged my biome. So I will do that right now. So I have biome, I have already used it in my fitness pal, so let's see. Okay, great, it's in there. Biome greens, four carbs, one fat, two protein, yes. And then I need to log my collagen peptides, which is up here. And I'm not sure this is in my fitness pal, so what I do is I click this little barcode right here, and that way, I can just zap it and it comes up perfectly and all it is is protein. So I'm gonna add that to my diary and add. All right, so, so far today, I'm, I am very embarrassed to say that I've only had 940 calories and it is 4.05. I may be gonna have an apple. Um, I have this apple I have to eat. It is a opal 
Opal, O-P-A-L, really good, I love these. Um, I have back-to-back -back client calls up until eight o'clock tonight, so I'm not quite sure when I can have dinner. And I, ha I forgot that I was busy today, and I, you know, so making sure I track my macros, and I, don't, I just don't throw stuff in a pan. I hopefully will remember. Um, so I'm gonna get some work done before I have to get on these calls, but if I eat anything else, I will let you guys know, and I need to eat more because I'm, I'm not even at 1,000 calories today, and it's four o'clock, but I don't feel hungry. I don't, I've just been going, going, going. I've been working like crazy. I drink a lot of water. Um, I'm gonna drink some more water because I just ate my meal and I haven't had any water since then. I did take a digestive enzyme before that avocado toast because I just taken, I, did, I, did, I take a digestive enzyme before every big meal. And I just got back from my Fractora microneedling like just now, my face does not look bad. I mean, up close, it looks like you can see everything like okay you yeah all those little dots are from all the needles and she went in on me today it was pretty painful but all good i don't really care so i have to stay out of the sun i have to not work out um i'm gonna try to maybe do a like a light little workout at home on thursday and today's tuesday and then i can go back to my gym workouts on friday so I'm gonna go, I will see you for my next meal or snack, probably a little snack because I know I'm gonna be hungry um, from now until when I can eat at eight o'clock tonight. So I will catch you guys soon. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. Bye. Hi. Going good. My head is killing me. What's killing you? My head. have some sauteed mushrooms. I have a mix of spaghetti, or not spaghetti squash, butternut squash, and sweet potato. I have my beef tenderloin that I cooked on Monday. I have some romaine lettuce for some crunch. I have chunky salsa and that habanero sauce. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. It is 8.13. The last time I ate was at four o'clock, but I have been super busy and this is the first time I'm able to eat. So this is what my macros look like for this meal, 352 calorie. I actually feel like I used more salsa than four grams of carbs worth, so I'm gonna do just like 1.5 servings and make it six carbs because I, I used a lot of salsa. So I have 81 grams of sweet potato, 96 grams of mushrooms, 95 grams of squash, 188 grams of pork tenderloin and one and a half servings of pico. The sauce that I use, the habanero sauce, has two grams of fat, so I will track that later. And I didn't bother tracking the lettuce. I mean, it's like a carb. It's not that serious. Um, and since I have been on calls all night, I was, right before I ate, I was like sick with hunger. So I probably had half of a serving of these Skinny Pop chips. I know one serving is 18 chips, and I believe it's about 18 carbs. 
So I'm just gonna say I had half of a serving. I wasn't weighing it out. I was just eating because I was so hungry. So I will weigh, or I will log half of a serving of these Skinny Pop chips. And I am going to eat this. I'm really excited because it is late and I need, I never eat dinner this late. I'm gonna take a digestive enzyme and I know I didn't eat enough today. So this is a big eye opener. So let's see what my macros are after this meal. So I logged all of my food for today. I had to estimate my Starbucks latte because I didn't realize, I forgot that I was doing this today. Um, so I had to estimate a couple things and Bailey is being bad. My calories are a lot lower than I would ever, ever want them to be. Mm -hmm. Look at that guys. You know, one of us always says that the other one doesn't eat enough. And I'm probably guilty of it too, but what's the magic number, boo? Okay. So Where are we at? This is a good eye opener for me. I didn't want to do this full day of eating because I didn't want to track my macros. I didn't, I really did not want to like take the time to track, but I feel like it was a good eye opener for me to maybe uh, step it up a little bit. So. Where are we at? My protein was weirdly perfect. My protein was at 145, which is actually exact, like to a T, exactly what I used to hit on prep and all throughout my life. 145 grams of protein, so go go me. Um, ooh, my fiber was at 30. Oh. Go me again. What were your carbs at? My carbs are at 130. I train shoulders. Out I mean, of that's what? the lowest. I, I that's that's lower than prep. Like I don't, I don't track anything. I'm, oh. I'm not hitting numbers. Okay. Um, 130. That's low, guys. That is low. Not one of my clients is at that. <laughs> okay. And my fat. This is like typical. I my fat. I have a very hard time hitting my fat macros. I don't like fat. I had avocado toast today. So I love avocado toast, but I have to eat avocado toast once a day just because I struggle so much to hit my fat. Um, my fat was at 36. What were so, your total calories? Total calories for the day, 1,383. And that is with me logging like my- um, Sauces. Well, I didn't really use sauces, but I got, a, I, like, I logged Starbucks almond milk. Oh, I didn't log my two pumps of sugar-free mocha, so technically like 134 carbs. Mm. Yeah, this is low, um, especially for the amount of muscle that I have. Um, I did not try to hit any macros today. I didn't have a goal in mind. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to log and track a day as if I wasn't tracking. Like today was a very busy day. I was out of the house for like two and a half to three hours. Um, and then I had back to back to back phone call with clients where I can't eat. On the days that I am not out of the house or the days that I have some breaks in between my phone calls, I do have more freedom to eat. Like I was hungry tonight before dinner, but I couldn't eat anything. So, you know, on my more busy days, I do eat a little bit less, but this is gonna really teach me to eat a little bit more. So I, this weekend, maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna make those uh, cinnamon protein truffles that you guys saw a couple videos ago because I love having that really quick protein, fat, and carbs ball that I can just like pop in my mouth. And that's a perfect thing for like when I'm busy on the phone. Um, so yeah, I did not eat as much as I should have and I'm embarrassed to tell you. My camera ran out of storage, so I had to fix that real quick, but what I was saying was I need, this really opened my eyes, I need to eat more fat in my diet because um, I'm not eating enough fat and it's really good for my hormones and I still do not have my menstrual cycle from prep, so it's been a year and... It hasn't been a year yet. Last January. Oh, oh it's been a year, oh, trust okay. me, I know. A year and three months without it and so I need to hike up my fat for sure and then uh, get more carbs in my life. So yeah, I'm gonna do that like now. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Please like this once again, if you like this full day of macro tracking eating and I will see you in the next video, which I don't know what it's gonna be, but stay tuned, it's gonna be amazing. So I'll talk to you later, bye.